Hey hustlers, welcome back to another wild ride here on Bazillions, your ultimate hub for everything cash and AI. Today, we're diving back into the world of free image upscaling tools, revisiting some old faves from our last video and throwing some fresh contenders into the mix. Plus, we're spotlighting the king of upscalers, the crowd pleaser, the one and only Topaz AI Photo Enhancer. Yep, you guys asked for it and we're bringing it. We're testing it out on some ancient pics I unearthed in storage and a bunch of other pixel nightmares to see what magic our upscale buddies can work. I'm Matt Griffith, your captain on this journey, so let's not waste any more time and jump straight in. All right, first up, let's circle back to our buddy Leonardo.ai and check out the shiny new universal upscaler tool that's got everyone buzzing. And the best part? It's up for grabs for everyone, free tier users included. To get rolling with this game changer, fire up Leonardo and hit it. You've got two ways to jump into the upscaler. Hit any of the quick access buttons on your dashboard or click universal upscaler on the left sidebar. The interface? clean and loaded with dope tools ready to elevate your images. Let's kick off the fun. The first pick we're jazzing up is a stock image of a dude snapping a pick by a breathtaking lake scene, all nature and beauty. We'll select our image, confirm it, and then pick our upscaler type. Given it's a real shot, we're sticking with the general style. Peep the starting size at 640 by 427 pixels, and after the magic, we're looking at a beefed up 1280 by 854 pixels. Smash that upscale button and boom, for 30 credits, we've got our image leveled up. Dragging the slider, the details Leonardo.ai pulled off are insane. Everything's sharper, clearer, but yo, the dude's face got a bit funky. Still, the rest, chef's kiss. Side by side comparison? The difference is night and day, both in size and clarity. Next, we're going dark with a low light pick of a woman toasting with a wine glass. It's grainy and filled with bokeh vibes. Let's crank the creativity up to six, upscale from 640 by 427 to 1280 by 854, and hit it. The result, less grain, more glam, though the ring's a tad too bright. Still, it's a win. Now onto a laser party scene. Original size, same drill, upscale, and just like that, the scene's got this cool smoke effect and everything's popping from the crowd to the onstage screens. Lastly, we've got a vintage snap of Luke Skywalker, starting at 254 by 323 pixels, upscaling to 508 by 646, amping up the creativity to eight and, whoa, that's not Luke anymore. The AI's creativity took a wild turn, totally remixing Mark Hamill's face. Let's dial it back to five and go again. This time, while the image looks slick, it's clear the AI zeroes in on faces first, potentially dialing down the detail elsewhere if you ask it to tone down the creativity. And yep, still searching for Luke. Now let's dive into the real experiment with some old photos I dug up from a dusty box in storage. First up, a snap of my grandparents from around 1985. This is gonna be a solid test for our buddy Leonardo. So we upload it and let the magic begin. The photo starts off at 429 by 608 pixels, and we're looking to bump it up to 858 by 1216 pixels. Keeping the creativity dial at five, we hit upscale. A sec later and, hold up, what? That's definitely not my grandparents. Who are these folks? The result is super detailed, with everything from hair to hands looking crisp and even a bit younger. But these aren't my peeps. Looks like Leonardo got a bit carried away, so let's dial the creativity back to two and give it another whirl. This time, bingo. It's closer to the real deal, resembling my grandparents way more, even if the details are a tad softer. Good enough. Next, we've got a candid shot of my mom and aunt in the kitchen way back in 67. I'm uploading it with fingers crossed. The original size is 690 by 692 pixels, and we're aiming for a new size of 1380 by 1384 pixels, setting creativity to four and upscale. Immediately, the kitchen details pop, but the faces way off again. 
Last on the list, a newspaper obituary of my grandfather. Not expecting miracles, but let's see. After the upscale, it's surprisingly clearer without messing up the text, a win in my book. Out of curiosity, I switch the model to our 2D and illustration and give it another go. Moments later, and it's interesting. It tried to piece together my granddad's face into some sort of illustration. Not exactly what I was after, but the text remains intact. The takeaway, it's all about tweaking those settings to avoid ending up with strangers in your family photos. Moving on, let's swing over to another buddy of ours, Upscale. Right off the bat, Upscale promises bigger sizes, so I'm crossing my fingers that the details can keep up. Kicking things off with our lakeside photographer. For each image today, I'm rolling with the general photo ultra sharp setting. We're starting from 640 by 427 pixels and aiming high at 2560 by 1708 pixels. Time to hit that upscale button and there it is. The result, super crisp and clear, no wild creative twists, just pure enhancement. It really breathes some life into the whole scene. Switching on to our wine toting lady, same deal with the sizes. Let's give it a whirl and wow, I'm impressed. It cleaned up all the graininess without adding any unwanted extras, looking way better than its original. Next in line, the laser party snapshot using the same settings. So let's hit upscale and bam. We've got ourselves a sharp and detailed party scene. Last but not least, our pal Luke, trying to make a statement in photo form. Starting at 254 by 323 pixels and upscaling to 1016 by 1292 pixels. Let's press upscale and see. All right, it's a bit better, but something's off with his eyes. Now on to the next set. We're starting with a photo of my grandparents, scaling it from 429 by 608 pixels, all the way up to 1716 by 2432 pixels. Let's hit that upscale button and see what happens. Just a tick later and we've got our result. Looks like the image got a hefty dose of the blur effect. It's a noticeable improvement and the size jump is impressive, but it's not quite hitting the mark of perfection. Still, it's not bad, definitely something we can work with. Next, we've got the snapshot of my mom and aunt. From 690 by 692 to 2760 by 2768 pixels, using the same upscaling approach. Let's press upscale, and actually it's pretty decent. It added a bit more clarity to the photo without going overboard. Lastly, there's the obituary of my granddad. This one's stretching from 568 by 1397 pixels to a whopping 2344 by 5588 pixels. A minute later, and here's the outcome. While it didn't transform the whole image, the picture part did come out clearer. My take on upscale? It's solid, especially considering it's a free tool. It might not be the go-to for seriously pixelated or ancient images, as the upscaled sizes are impressive, but the overall quality isn't quite there yet. But hey, for a no-cost option, it's got its advantages. Next up, we're checking back in with Kriya, kicking things off with our lakeside photographer, hitting the Enhance button, starting from 640 by 427 and aiming for 1280 by 854 pixels. We're keeping AI strength, resemblance, and clarity on the default settings. Just like that, we've got our enhanced photo. Kriya's AI really took charge here, jazzing up the textures throughout the scene. Though it got a bit carried away with the foliage and even altered our main guy's appearance, more texture on his gear and a bit of a head reshaping. Still, the end result, pretty stellar. On to our wine glass lady. Keeping everything default, we hit enhance and voila. The graininess is gone and we're left with sharp details all around from the watch strap to the skin texture. Though there's a bit of a hiccup with the fingers. I'd rate this one a solid nine out of 10. Then it's party time and the upscaled image nails it sharp with the lighting hitting just right. A cool outcome indeed. Now for our buddy Luke. Since Kriya's AI crafts a prompt upon image upload, we're gonna tweak it a bit this time to rein in those creative liberties, especially around our character's face. The initial prompt is a young Luke Skywalker with a gun in his hand pointing it at the camera wearing a camouflage jacket. 
prompt set, hit, enhance, and the results in. Looks like it took Young a bit too literally, but the texture work on the clothes and hair, spot on. Giving it another go, we adjust the prompt to a young man, Mark Hamill, as Luke Skywalker with a gun in his hand pointing it at the camera wearing a camouflage jacket. Hit enhance, and this time we've nailed it. The resemblance to our favorite character is much improved and the overall effect is awesome. And on to the next group. Starting with the photo of my grandparents, I decided to adjust the resemblance value right off the bat, hoping to keep their faces from getting an unintended makeover. With the settings adjusted, I hit the enhance button and waited. And well, history repeated itself. The photo came out looking sharp with an impressive level of detail. But those weren't my grandparents staring back at me. It seems we went down the same road as with Leonardo, totally redoing their faces. Not one to give up, I tweaked the settings again, dialing down the AI strength and pushing the resemblance setting even higher. After another go and a short wait, the result was a bit underwhelming. The detail boost was minimal, and it barely added anything new to the image. Next up, the snapshot of my mom and aunt. I decided to stick with the default settings this time and see what happened. A moment later, the textures in the kitchen and the details on their clothes looked fantastic. But the faces, yep, we had imposters again. So I decided to experiment with the settings, this time setting everything to 0.45. The outcome was intriguing. It made the image look more like a painting than a photograph, and we lost a lot of detail, not to mention the faces were altered yet again. The last test was with my granddad's obituary, and well, it turned him into someone else entirely and butchered the text too. Definitely not what I was hoping for, even though Kriya's AI excels at adding detail, it tends to reimagine faces in its own creative way, which means I've got to be extra careful about the photos I choose to run through it. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. Let's start by heading over to topazlabs.com. This website is a treasure trove of excitement for the kind of magic we're about to work on our images. Topaz is a downloadable software available for both Mac and PC users. It's a playground of possibilities where you can see a bunch of examples showcasing what you can achieve with a simple click. We're talking a whole spectrum of functionalities here, from upscaling and balancing colors to enhancing faces, sharpening details, and a lot more. Each feature comes with its own set of dials and switches, allowing you to fine tune to your heart's content. Once you've got it installed, getting started is a breeze. Just drag and drop your picture into Topaz and it immediately gets to work, upscaling and polishing your image. And the best part, you can stack even more enhancements on top to really bring your photos to life. Let's start by snagging a demo version for PC to see what all the fuss is about. We head over to the free demo section, select our operating system and hit download. In no time at all, our download wraps up and we're ready to roll with the installation. A double click on the installer, a quick run through of the setup wizard, and we're good to go. Closing the wizard, it's time to fire up Topaz and dive into its capabilities. The interface greets us with simplicity and clarity. Just drag and drop an image to kickstart the enhancement process. Topaz first upscales the image, cleaning away any artifacts, which is a solid first impression. Let's see how it fares with some stock images. First up, our lakeside photographer. Topaz jumps straight into upscaling upon upload, but doesn't stop there. You can pile on more enhancements as needed. The final product is nothing short of spectacular. It retains every nuance of the original while bringing a sharper, more polished look to the forefront without altering any of the scene's natural elements. Next, we have the lady with the wine glass. As soon as it's uploaded, Topaz gets to work and the outcome is nearly flawless. The graininess disappears, leaving no blur or distortion, not even in the details like fingers, everything is crystal clear. Moving on to the laser party scene, the upscale is equally impressive, sharp and detailed. And then there's our Luke Skywalker photo. Wow, just wow. The textures on the clothing are enhanced without any weird alterations to the face, no odd facial changes, no strange eyes, just absolute perfection. Peering a bit closer, it's evident that Topaz smartly decides which enhancements to apply. 
On the right sidebar, it details the adjustments made, including a recover face process along with the upscale. Honestly, this experience scores a solid 10 out of 10. Heading into the last set, we kick off with my grandparents' photo. Right after the upscale and recover face treatment, the outcome is downright breathtaking. Seriously, folks, this is the gold standard. No awkward alterations to their faces, just a surge of detail and beautifully enhanced textures. Side by side with the original, it's clear how much of an upgrade we're talking about here. Then comes the snapshot of my mom and aunt. My expectations? Sky high, and let me tell you, Topaz did not disappoint. Every part of the image, especially their faces, is crystal clear. It's moments like this when you realize Topaz is on another level. The side-by-side -side comparison is a testament to its prowess. The image is refined with smoother textures and the kind of attention to detail it truly deserved. Wrapping up with the obituary clipping. Even for a tricky task like this, after the recover faces and upscale process, the result is surprisingly good. Topaz managed to polish the image, smoothing out the face without compromising the text. Another round, another 10 out of 10 for Topaz. What a journey we've been on today, folks. We've explored some fantastic tools that breathe new life into your old photos. While each has its strengths, overall, they've all shown they can do wonders. Topaz stole the show for us today, hands down. Now, while you can snag it for free and play around, there's a bit of a hitch when it comes to saving your masterpieces that'll set you back $199. But hey, if you're deep into photography, digital art, or just passionate about restoring your photo memories to their former glory, it's an investment that pays off. And isn't it amazing how photos that we took 30 or 40 years ago in that moment looked good. And now when we look at them, we've gotten so used to just really high resolution that they look like crap. So tools like this are amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would really mean a lot to me if you took a quick minute and hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps a small channel like mine out.